Buenos dias, amigos. Que pasa? Is que pasa actually Spanish or is that Portuguese? I'm not quite sure. Anyway, why do I greet you in Spanish? I actually have a reason for that. Because I want to talk about something that has vaguely to do with Spanish. Very vaguely. Not, not all that much, actually. But it's a random introduction to a random topic. Yesterday, I watched Olympics. To be more precise, I watched wrestling. Amateur wrestling, obviously, since professional wrestling is probably never going to be an Olympic sport. Although it would be cool, you know, like giving points for performances. I, uh, I'll, I'll keep that in mind when I finally get uh, onto the board of the IOC and finally, you know, make the sports clean and stuff like that. I will do that eventually. It's just a matter of time. So, yeah, yesterday I watched um, wrestling and uh, I watched the uh, up to 130 kg um, fighters. And there was this Cuban guy. You see, Cubans speak Spanish. That, that was the reason for it. anyway. Um, so I saw this Cuban wrestler and Jesus Christ, this dude was so cool. Like, w when I, um, when I watched him, and I, I have no idea about amateur wrestling, and I kind of pride myself on that, when I saw him fight in, like, the first fight he had of that, in that day, you know, uh, you know, when I saw him fight, I immediately knew, Jesus Christ, this guy is good. Like, you, you could even, you could see that without having any knowledge. He was so much more active, he was so much more pushy. And then when he finally won in the last fight, in the finals, and he threw the guy from Turkey, like, I think his name was Lopez, right? The Cuban's name. Uh, like, he threw the guy from Turkey, like, in the first 20 seconds. Jesus Christ, that was so amazing. Like, if you have nothing better to do, you should watch amateur wrestling. It's, it's actually really, really cool. Alrighty, so let's actually talk about the game. So last episode, Chris and Fal ate together. It seems like Fal is really in love with Chris and Chris doesn't tell her about Ari. So he's kind of a douchebag. Let's see where this gets us. Probably not to a good place, but we shall see. I needed a little longer than usual to snap out of lingering memory of Ari. By the way, new mouse. No doodum in the middle of the episode anymore. I still hadn't decided on a partner yet. I honestly hadn't. Ah, come on, stop fucking with me. However, if my heart had already started moving into the direction of one particular result, then perhaps I had already decided after all. Thank you that you didn't need so much time like Tomoya. Chris? Hi. The same as always. Whoops. Gently stroking the surface of the neatly folded, Let repeated those words in a mutter. I didn't feel like writing a reply right away, so I kept sitting in my chair for a while. Following the reasoning I had made up in my mind, I decided not to ask Tota to be my partner. But I wondered if I wouldn't end up betraying both Ari and Tota this way. Okay, now this new mouse makes an automatic double click. I swear to god I have bad luck with mouses. You know, this isn't the new mouse, this is the, the mouse from the computer in the living room. We have two computers, mine and the one in the living room. And this motherfucker now skips the sentence all the time. I have to be very... You know, why, why, am, why don't I use the keyboard? That would be a good idea. I'll put it in my lap so it won't be as loud, and then we'll use the keyboard instead of the fucking mouse. Why didn't I do that in the first place? Oh, because I don't know what button does what, huh? Pony was already standing on top of the music stand, beckoning on me. Uta? Sure. In the midst of the wave of music, I was no longer shackled to the matters that were troubling me. I could feel Forney's pleasant voice in my skin, and I let myself get carried away by the wave that felt as if it rocked the core of my heart. I wasn't sure how many pieces we had performed in succession, but we had certainly played a lot more than usual. Before I realized it, it had become a time I would normally be asleep. Without taking the moment to bask in the afterglow of the performance, I hastily looked outside the window. It was dark out, which told me it had become very light. Very late. I quickly made preparations to write the reply at my desk. <laughs> Yeah, 
I have to hurry and write a reply. Fawny seemed unusually curious today as to what I was writing. Didn't I ever tell you not to look at what I write? I won't be writing anything out of the ordinary. I think I'll just tell her that I haven't decided yet. That's what I said, didn't I? Unfaced by my somewhat angry tone of voice, Forney gave me an oddly understanding nod. And then, free of jest or any real seriousness, Forney said to me, yeah, that is a good general advice. She flapped her wings just once before disappearing into thin air. How the hell does she do that? That's kind of unfair. You know what? If she can do that... You know... Now I don't want to be perverted or anything. But what the hell does Chris do when he needs some alone time? That may explain many problems he's having, you know? I'm just saying, that can... I assume that might possibly stress him out mentally. Two weeks have passed since I began my search for a partner. Although I still haven't made the final decision, I believe I've made a far, fair bit of progress since then. I've been practicing a lot with Val lately, which has started to become a habit, a bit of a habit now. I considered asking her to be my partner, but there was still one thing I couldn't shake my, from my mind. Arietta had been quite resolute in her statements, but thinking back to it, she's always been the type to go out of her way for me. She might say it's okay, but in truth, she had to be a bit apprehensive. Which was why I hadn't been able to get myself to search proactively and kept putting off my final decision. Or you could have looked for a male if that was really that big of a problem. I am just saying, you are bullshitting yourself. Also, if you had a healthy relationship, I'm pretty sure Ari Arietta could live with you having a female partner. Well, but uh, as mentioned last episode, long distance relationship is a tricky thing. Still, I had to decide on someone sooner or later. What should I do today? Since Fal had to work today, I should probably ask Tota or Lise. You know, that is, the, that is a small problem with this game. Because this game acts as if we ever had something to do with Lise. We didn't, though. Those were no-goes. Torta was too close to me. And Lisa, well, I wasn't even sure myself. I just met her once! When I first heard her singing, I felt some kind of empathy toward her. But I think something. So what is the back button on the keyboard? Well, let's use the mouse, shall we? But I think I might have been afraid of getting too involved. It might have been because she resembled Ari, but I couldn't say so confidently. Oh, okay. So maybe Fawny isn't a representation of Ari if uh, Lisa is the representation of Ari. Or maybe all the girls... You know, one problem I have in every visual novel where there is something going on that I can't explain, my number one theory is always all the characters represent one. I thought that in Klanat, I thought that in Everlasting Summer, and now I'm starting this theory here. That is always my number one go-to theory. All the characters rep just, rep just represent one big character in the end. That is my go-to twist. Jesus Christ. That said, I couldn't team up with her without having even practiced together. Besides, she was still a freshman. She had no desire to become my partner. Such were the matters running through my mind as I shot side-along glances at Torta, who was happily nibbling away at her sandwiches. I thought I'd just practice a bit today and go home. Hey, Martedi! Whoops. Watching Torta down her, down her sandwiches next to me, I absently pondered my next course of action. I didn't have much of a choice. It basically came down to whether or not to invite Fal. Was it really okay for me to keep inviting Fal like this? I was still lost, but the time for our resolution drew nearer with each passing minute. 
Oh, uh, yeah. Um, okay, now I don't have the walkthrough open. But I'm borderline sure we need to go to the left room. But just in case, I'll look it up. Okay, so right now I'm having the little problem that I actually don't know for sure where I left off. So, that is kind of inconvenient. But I'm I'm not 100% sure, but I think I'm supposed to go to the left practice room. Not to the right practice room. According to... I'm not 100% sure, but I think it is the right thing. I mean, also, it's the file route. What else am I supposed to do? If it is wrong, let me know in the comments below and we do it over again. Shouldn't be that big of a problem, I guess. Without being conscious of my actions, my feet were already moving toward Fal's practice room. It was fun to perform together. But now, that was no longer the only reason to go. I had learned just how much she strove to be successful and accidentally touched upon some of her secrets. And now, I was again standing in front of the store. Fal called out without looking behind. She then slowly turned to face me. The words came out naturally, making us appear like close friends. The score set up in front of the girl was already opened, on a passage I remembered having trouble with before. Meanwhile, my foot really is itching, and I need to scratch it. One moment. Oh, Jesus. Oh, yeah, I, uh, uh, there's nothing worse than having itches, I swear. Sure, we honestly haven't met up that frequently, and the time spent together hasn't been that long. But to us, pulling practice session after practice session in the limited time we had, those were all the words required anymore. Ooh, how romantic. That compability might have only existed on a musical level, though. Good point. Ah! Uh, I, di I didn't even want to. Didn't even want to. One song later, we probably feel closer to each other than never before. You know, Fal, I know it's probably too early to say. And I know our connection is only about music. But I actually have a girlfriend. Same to you. Still behind my fortel, I stretched and loosened up my arms and shoulders. Apparently neither of us had felt like taking a break during the long period we spent practicing. Felt said casually while taking a stretch herself as well. I wonder. She normally gives praise where praise is due and points out defi- def- oh jesus. Defies. I can do that, D, Phi, C, N, Cs, and my performance where she noticed them. But today, that was all she had to say. No, either way is fine with me. Uh, ah, so it was um, just a polite, I'll do either way. She knows, Chris. <laughs> I really wouldn't have object objected to continuing, though. <laughs> Got it. When I checked the clock on the wall when exiting the building, I noted that we were leaving more than an hour earlier than usual. I suppose this is nice every once in a while. You were the one who suggested in the first place. That is a good point. An awful thing to say. <laughs> the way... <laughs> the way... You, you know what that reminds me of? There, there were a lot of stupid things people said when they were teenagers. 
also in Germany there were weird things. One of them was, this is Wayne to me. Like, it doesn't matter to me, Wayne. I wonder where that came from. Is that like an English phrase that they uh, took? Or did just some random German decide he doesn't like the name Wayne? And he said, that's Wayne to me, Wayne. Like, I, it wasn't a long trend, like maybe a year. But in that year, basically everybody <laughs> said it, so... You know, it was there. The rain was pretty light today. While it never actually stopped raining in this town, the current away... Rain was. Not Wayne Ross. Rain was. Extraordinary. Okay, I give up. Give me a sec. Who? Zen. Um. Alrighty. Extraordinary. Weak. It was weak, okay? I had to focus to even feel the drops on my skin. If only these clouds went away, we would be able to see a pretty blue sky. The color of the sky in my hometown flashed through my mind for an instant. On it? Huh? I glanced at Fal. She had turned around and seemed to be waiting for someone. Asino-san! Asino? You don't mean... Once the figure came into a range close enough for me to discern his facial features, I found my suspicions were true. Yeah, it's probably the one guy called Donkey in your school. Yo, Chris. Hey, what are you doing here this late? Don't tell me you've been practicing. Oi, sono nanda? Having come to a standstill in front of me, Asimo seemed to take a hint a hit from behind and staggered forward a few steps. <laughs> you all know each other. The classic surprise of finding out that two of your friends you met at different places turn out to be acquaintances. Those were exactly my feelings right now. <laughs> I see. So, Asino, you really have been practicing. And you know Fal as well? That is actually a good point. I think everybody knew I was student here. Well, it isn't called student council in Germany, I think. What is it called in Germany? I can't even remember right now. But uh, yeah, everybody knew the, the representative of the people. Uh, of the pupils. <laughs> of the people. Everybody knows Angela Merkel. Well, I guess she's probably not by definition the representation in Germany of the people. Since she's voted uh, by the parliament. But nobody's directly voted for in Germany. I mean, except representatives of um, your... Um, okay, now I'm getting too much into politics. Anyway, so... Everybody knows the student council president. Father glanced at me, giggling. Father motioned toward me with her hand. Oi. You've got the wrong idea. I think I'm acting perfectly normal. <laughs> what an asshole. What an asshole. Wow. Now that's a thing you don't do. But uh, we all know he has the hots for Chris. Swear to God. Would actually be kind of funny if that was the case. Not funny in the sense of haha funny, more like ha, huh, they really did go that far. And with that far I mean Jesus. Uh, it doesn't really often happen in uh, romantic visual novels. Except of course in visual novels where um, 
uh, what do you call it in, in uh, Japanese again? Shoujo, I'm not shoujo, I shonen eye is actually uh, the topic. But other than that, you rarely see, you only see Yuri and Yaoi, but you never see a normal romance, a quote unquote normal romance, wh where gay people appear, you know? It's actually kind of weird. I mean, of course, Japan, very stereotypical, very um, old schoolish, very bad with gay people, basically, but you know. Huh. The female student suddenly gave me an annoyed scowl. I figured Asino promised her to walk her back, but... Hey! asino san What? But do Skip the sentence again. Not my best episode today, I think. Huh? I mean, yes, miss, said Asino. Upon hearing Fal's polite tone of speech, Asino too speaking, as though he were talking to Miss Cordell, whoever that is. Oh, yeah, right, the, the, the music teacher. Jesus, you you could kiss my ass right now, dude. I'll I'll I I I wouldn't even talk to you anymore right now. Suddenly revising his all but indifferent attitude toward the girl, Asino now spoke to her in an almost affectionate tone. See you. I was a little impressed by the fact that Asino was actually practicing more than I thought. Well, judging from that girl's attitude, this was probably their first time today. He may, in fact, never even get past that first session. But despite his attitude, he was actually pretty popular, so I doubted he was too worried about finding a partner. He's as irresponsible as ever. Yeah, that is actually weird. Are you also into him? Do you wish to walk here, that he walks you home instead of this girl? I, I'm so offended on her behalf, I don't even know why, but that is just a thing you don't do. Because I didn't expect anything less from him. I took note of the fact that Fal had once again returned to her casual manner of speech. I suppose, but I was kind of surprised that you would go that far in saying that to Asino might have a weak spot for girls like you. He's like that around Miss Cordell as well. The girl laughed and took that opportunity to resume walking. I suppose this is as far as we go. Huh? The hell is that? L let me think. There is Miss Cordell. That can't be. There is Torta. Her name is Tortilla or something like that. So sounds like something to eat. There's Ari. Is Natale this this shy girl? I can't remember the right name we got to know her with right now. But is that her? Uh, I didn't know what to say. I didn't have plans. And I knew Ari wouldn't be able to make it. But what about it? Oh, Natale, it's a, it's, 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 it's some sort of festival or celebration. Christmas? Probably. I mean, it's uh, 20th of December. Ari and I were going out and being able to spend Natale together or not which wouldn't change that fact. That is the moment... These are the moments I'm kinda... Eh, with Japanese games who try to do something European. Like, in Europe it's just not a thing to go celebrate with your friends on Christmas. I mean... Fair enough if they couldn't afford to go back to their towns or whatever, but usually, like, in a, I, I don't think there is a European country that actually d isn't um, hasn't universities who are closed between um, Christmas and New Year's Eve. So, man, that's that's just weird, you know. That's just weird. 
just weird, especially in Italy. Italy is super Catholic. Like, you go to your family. It's, it's, oh, man. I mean, it's not really something that should bug me, but that happens so often in Japanese games when they write about cultures they have no idea of, you know? They call people donkey, they celebrate Christmas with friends, you know? <laughs> Stuff like that. Sometimes the, the devil is in the details. As we say in Germany. Hopefully we also say that in England. Ari and I were going out and being able to spend Natale together or not wouldn't change that thing. Yeah, there we go. If I decided to be honest with her and tell her I didn't have plans, she might ask me to spend it with her. Would it be better if I made up an excuse now, rather than having to refuse her afterward? But then again, perhaps I was just getting ahead of myself, and she was just asking out of curiosity. Uh, nothing. Huh? Practice? <laughs> I'm sure I was. I wouldn't go that far. No, not in particular. Uh-oh. There was no turning back now. I already blurted out the words, and the girl already posed the question that would seal the deal. Uh... Are you sure? What? Oh. How awkward. <laughs> yeah, I mean, that's... That's young adults for you, I suppose. I don't mind waiting, but... Uh, with burning red cheeks, Fal took a few deep breaths. Then, after seemingly having calmed herself down, she began speaking. I already said I didn't have plans, and I didn't expect to get any anytime soon. And I didn't think it would be much trouble practicing with her even. But I decided to wait her to finish before telling her. Friday. You know, you know when you love German, when you hear Arbeito and you're just happy inside. I love when she says Arbeito. <laughs> I don't know, man. You're. I, I, I just love this language, man. It's a beautiful language. And it's, it's so misrepresented on the internet. <laughs> <laughs> for, for, for real it is. Why? I did, but... In actuality, the registration deadline for senior vocalists was the first day of class of the new year, January 3rd. After missing that, one automatically got put into the vocalist department graduation program as soloist. But the fact of the matter was that one could hardly spend the roughly 10 days of year and holiday without practice. So the last day of class on the 23rd of December was commonly accepted as the time limit. That's why you took the day off from work? So, so. Arbeito. I see. This made it all the more difficult to refuse. Because it meant she would be in that practice room for the sole reason of waiting for me. Now, it isn't right to let you to be guilted into this. That's also not okay, though. Ah, uh, 
sure. She ran off, briskly enough for her footsteps to echo through the streets, and disappeared from a view in a matter of seconds. Although her tone had appeared collected, she spoke in a peculiar way that was very much unlike her usual self. Still dazed, I kept standing out in the rain for a little while. Three days to go. I hadn't decided what to do yet. But the day that I would have to decide something was creeping closer every passing minute. Yeah, I suppose that was the right decision to go to the left practice room. It's already 23rd? Jesus. That went the best. So, Fawny said in a slightly serious tone while I was in the middle of getting ready. It seemed like she remembered that I told her the night before about the deadline Fal had given me. Yeah. Don't worry about it. Have a look up for a second. And as expected, we go. I'm thinking of going. For any? What did you think of false abilities the time we rehearsed here? Just answer me, please. Oh, come on. No one could ever hope to beat you, right? You even call yourself a sprite of music. Yeah. Well, she first has obviously to show me her soul so that she can use her full musical potential. That is how these things usually go. I have read enough shonen manga to know this. Missing? Like what? So, what is there besides technique? If you felt like there was something missing, then I don't doubt that. She should surely be able to sing her own song to perfection. This was a matter of countless tiny, fa tiny flaws, tiny to the point they could hardly even be called them. These three minuscule imperfections had started appearing somewhere along the line in the time I spent listening to Fal's voice. I had gotten used to Forney's voice of perfection, so perhaps no one besides me would even be able to detect them. Even so, I was thinking that maybe I could help her iron out those flaws. Oh, this will be interesting. I mean, there's probably going to be some sort of conflict. And um, this conflict might as well be around uh, the topic of her improving or something. Maybe she can't take critique well for some reason or another. If she indeed lacks something that you don't, I might be able to find out what it is, at the very least. I think Fal isn't yet satisfied with that. She's capable of re rising even further. I'll admit that is also true. I'm thinking of asking her to be my partner. Do you still think I'm doing this on a whim after what I just told you now? Great. Thanks. Ari and Torta. Ari has been, has been to my room twice. On Natality last year and the year before that. Fanny had taken an extreme liking to her for some reason. Whenever Ari came over, she would sit on her shoulder and even affectionately caress her cheek. Then again, she showed the same kind of behavior to Torta, so she might simply be fond of that kind of face. As such, Fanny would always side with Ari and Torta, which was why I was expecting Fanny to object. In fact, she may have even been able to change my mind with it. However, convinced that I had given my decision considerable thought, Forney seemed to readily accept it. Yeah, later. 
With a trace of ill humor in her voice, Farney added in a whisper. Chris? Yes. I don't get it. Was that like again uh, her acting like Fall or something like that? Man, I don't know. But, um. Or should we go on a bit? You know what? Let's carry through the 23rd and we'll stop for the 24th. Why don't we? Would be a good cut. With Miss Cordell's last class of the year wrapped up, I almost routinely trudged toward the practice room at the far end of the corridor. I had no intention of ending my relationship with Ari. I simply wanted to offer this one girl named Falsita Fawcett my assistance. That was all there was to it. That statement contained neither lies nor fallacies. Is what you think. Because you're still in the black screen world. Uh, I thought you had to work. Didn't you need to work? I came to rehearse. Uh, uh. I seated myself behind my fortel as usual. But there was one thing I had to confirm before allowing my fingers to touch the keyboard. So the 23rd is Natale? What does that mean, the day before Christmas Eve? Is that a thing? Well, then I guess we'll stop here. So, sorry, that wasn't very long. Weird. Huh, maybe I did, maybe I got something wrong. I don't know. Anyway, so this is going to be interesting next episode. I mean, as mentioned, there is probably some backstory. There might be some conflict going. Uh, coming. I mean, there doesn't need to be, but it's, it's quite the possibility. And I'm interested to see where this goes. So I hope you rejoin me next time. In the meantime, watch amateur wrestling. <laughs> or professional wrestling. I mean, I I'm okay with everything. Sumo is also very cool. And I think I'm just a wrestling fan overall. Anyway, thank you everybody for watching. Come back for the next episode. And I'll see you then. Bye bye.